I've always been a fan of streetwear, you know, because it looks so cool and so easy to style. But I've also been a fan of tech wear because it's so functional and makes you look like a cyber ninja. But then I thought, why not mix it together? <laughs> Mm. So what's up guys, thanks once again for tuning in. This is Kixplore where we talk everything about sneakers, lifestyle, travel and a little bit of everything in between. And today we're going to be talking about some of the pieces that I got from the brand Black Taylor. So Black Taylor has graciously decided to give me some pieces for me to review for you guys. So I'll be giving my own personal thoughts, uh, my recommendations and my own personal uh, styling tips on how to mix tech wear also with streetwear. So let's get into this video shall we? So pretty much streetwear is my favorite sort of style aesthetic uh, especially now because uh, as I said before it's very easy to wear you know it's really cool and all that kind of stuff and it's, it's, it's kind of trending. But I also like the tech wear aesthetic. Now uh, in terms of tech wear I haven't delved or like invest into the really more expensive more functional pieces like the ones that you can get from acronym but uh, that's the great thing about um, Black Taylor because uh, they definitely have some pieces out there that are a lot more affordable and uh, you know if you're not re uh, really willing to break the bank but you do want to get into uh, tech wear or well, Black Taylor got you covered because so, I gotta admit when you wear too much like tech wear you know it looks funny like a lot of, you get a, cu a couple of funny looks from the people out there but when you mix and match some pieces like with streetwear or other pieces that you, you might have in your collection that aren't tech wear then that's when you get the fire fit you know or you know you look bussin', whatever the kids are saying nowadays. You know, I just want to give my own credentials because a lot of people ask me in my videos, uh, you know, what, are, uh, you know, what's my height and everything. I'm around five seven, five eight. I'm not really sure because it, I don't know. It really, do kind of sometimes depends on uh, the shoes you're wearing and all that kind of stuff. But that's. Uh, usually in my height range, I'm around a hundred kilos. I'm a big boy, so I'm really you know thick and wide. You know, I'm really stumpy. So hopefully that gives you kind of a, a, a range or a, an idea of uh, how it might fit on you. Because uh, I see a lot of um, you know Instagram models, uh, you know, wearing a lot of the Black Taylor stuff, like uh, Ari Petru and all that kind of stuff. So those guys look like models, obviously. But when you like, this is sort of like giving you kind of the uh, idea of what it might look like on someone, I don't know, and you know, that has a normal body type that's a little bit bigger. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm just trying to say. So if, maybe if you have the same body type as me, you will know what it might look like on you. Anyway, get, let's get into some of these pieces, shall we? And also just to let you know guys that the uh, sizing that I went with is uh, size 36 pants and also large for the jackets and the shirts. The first uh, three items are going to be pants. Uh, they are the X1 cargo and also the C9 uh, pant. So the cargoes, here they are. So uh, what I like about these pants is that there are so many kind of hidden details that you probably won't see on the actual images on the website or online. Uh, it comes with its own belt, uh, if you can see here, right there, so that you can adjust it if it's too big or too small you can uh, kind of uh, get a gauge on it and everything. They have this, well it is a button, but it's like a metal button. It's like a magnetic button. Well, it's not magnetic, but it's, got, it's kind of got that little kind of button detail there. Instead of like the, the normal one, the big one that goes into the small hole kind of thing. It pockets, as you can see there, right there. So a lot of uh, useful um, places you can put stuff, right? So you put your snacks in there, pens, pencils, and all that kind of stuff. It's got, um, it's got, they've got even more pockets on the other side as you can see there as well so if you got if you carry a lot of stuff with you all the time technically you won't even probably won't even need a bag because you can just use your cargo pants <laughs> and one of the main reasons why I got these pants is at the bottom you can see they've got the it's sort of like a split hem at the bottom with the buttons adjustable buttons there as well when I was choosing the pieces that I want to review for you guys, when I saw it on the models, and uh, yeah, when it had that split end like that, I was like, bro, I gotta get it, man. So, so the black one's very similar, as you can see there. And I really like their, um, like the, the tag that they have, uh, you know, it's sort of like a wire, as you can see there, it's like a wire tag. And I also got the uh, C9 pant. Uh, which is they're basically cargo pants as well. Uh, yeah, they got the same. They see this one's got just like the regular button, similar. Um, you know the cargo pockets, and this one has this black tag. This one's a little bit more different. Why? Because it's got the cinching or the drawstring um, hems. 
at the bottom so you can uh, you know at the bottom of the the pants you can kind of tighten them so if um because i gotta admit some of these pants are pretty long and that's why it's it looks real, really cool when you can kind of split the 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 hems or you can uh, cinch the hems like this one so that you can have that kind of customizable fit the the canvas jacket and uh yeah it, it, you may think it's like an ordinary kind of jacket but it's actually got pockets on the side of the sleeve right there i thought it was really cool and what's really great about this is that it's actually really heavy weight and it's really really thick and so um this one will definitely get you to through the like kind of winter weather and it's got that really cool uh almost like minimalistic uh, look so if you don't really want a tech wear kind of um too much of a tech wear look you can go for this one but it is techni technically still tech wear because it's still got pockets on the side there so it's really great and as you can see there it's got that really soft and nice inner lining and uh yeah i don't know I, I, I just love this one and another great thing about this one is that you got these uh on the arms it's got this like extra kind of uh zip there so you can actually make it bigger or kind of uh you can roll up your sleeves if you want to as well uh, I don't know how, exactly how much that can be beneficial, but when I tried it on, I, I thought it was really, really cool. At least you have that option. And probably my, my favorite piece out of all of them is this, uh, the oversized shirt. I, I just love the look of it because I, I've never had like a green overshirt kind of thing. And this is like a, definitely a mad look. When I first saw it, man, I was just like, oh, I, I really had to get this one out of all the pieces. Uh, it is an oversized fit, so just keep that in mind. So when you probably see it on me, it might be a little bit big. And another cool thing about this is, once again, it's got the really cool detailing around. And once again, on the sleeves, it's got that adjustable fit. So uh, yeah, this would be great to layer with because it is oversized. Even the jacket, it, it's, 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 it's a, a little bit bigger. You can put uh, items underneath. So just in case it gets really cold, uh, you know, you won't have a problem with sizing. Anyways, those are the pieces that I got. I think it's time to go and style them, shall we? Let's go. So that's my little clip of uh, you know how they all look like together, me mixing and matching with streetwear and also uh, techwear. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Did you like them? Did you not like them? Anyway, guys, so I'm a really big fan of uh, Black Taylor and some of their pieces. They've got more pieces out now, not just these ones. And uh, yeah, I, it's it's got that real great. Um, like tech wear aesthetic without going too far, too extreme into the, uh, you know, the, the style or that trend, if you know what I mean. So if you're really thinking about getting into tech wear and all that kind of stuff and just delving into it, Black Taylor is definitely a good place to go and start. Definitely go check them out on their website. I have all the um, items uh, in my description below. So if you have, if you are interested, you can definitely check them out. Also, I have a discount code for you guys if you made it this far. So all my real ones, this one is for you. So when you guys check out, please use this discount code so you can get, get that great discount on your purchase. But yeah, this, uh, this brand definitely got some things going on with them. Black Taylor, I'm a big fan of them. Uh, some pros I would like to say is that they, um, you know, the packaging was great. Uh, it's almost like the ones that you get from Fear of God. Uh, it's really nice silky material and all that kind of stuff. And I, I, I really like that from the first opening of the package. I was like, oh man, this is high quality stuff. So that pretty much wraps up my little review for Black Taylor and their pieces. 
let me know what you guys think in the actual comments below. I would really like to know what you guys think. Uh, what did you think about how I styled it? And what do you actually think of the black tailor brand? Anyways, uh, a big thank you to you guys for watching till the end. I hope you guys get to at least go check out their website. Have a look at the kind of stuff because they do have some pretty interesting stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you once again for watching this video. And a big shout out to Black Taylor again. Anyway, guys, if you haven't uh, you know um, already subscribed, please go to, uh, please please do me that big solid of subscribing. And if you did learn something from this video, please give me that big thumbs up. Anyway, guys, a big thank you to once again to you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.